All right, guys, so I just stepped up on Raina, who is a five-year-old Mustang for the Extreme Mustang Makeover Competition, and wanted to bring you guys some value real quick as far as getting a horse started in the Hackamore, okay? Um, we just did a video on the basic groundwork exercises that I like to do with a horse in the Hackamore. I'm gonna give you guys some basic exercises to do with a horse in the Hackamore under saddle when you first get started, all right? It's gonna be pretty funny. It's gonna be very similar, right? So I just got on her, we're just walking her around here. I wanna make sure that I can get my horse's hindquarters, right? So I wanna be able to take this, this left rein and bend her nose around her, stay soft, maybe put my left lug on, get the hindquarters, and then give her a face back and move on, all right? I'll move away from the camera a little bit so, that, so you guys can see. And so I'll step over this direction. I'm gonna take my right rein, so I'll bend her back towards you guys. Go wide with my right rein. My hand ends up back to center. Get the hind quarters there. All right, now we move on. I'd like to be able to get the shoulders. Use that inside rein, get in touch with that inside front foot and influence the inside front. Be able to take the right rein, get the front foot Right, she knows the start of a turnaround, so then she would ask, I just kick past her to keep walking. I'd like to be able to take my legs off, pick up on the reins, ask my horse to stay soft in the bridle and back up, as well as walk back forward into a soft feel or a light contact, if you will. All right, so we've got the hind quarters where we can influence that. One of the exercises I really like to do is that half circle exercise. I get the hind quarters here, I go 180 degrees this way, I open that left rein and put my right leg on. She kind of walked out there and say, follow that inside rein. Okay, I'll do it this way. I'll take my right rein, get the right hip, open my right rein towards you guys and ask those shoulders to step around, okay? So any form of that is a plus to be able to have in the Hackamore. I'd like to be able to ask my horse to get in that soft feel. Ask her to move up and stay soft in, in that Hackamore. Take my legs off, ask her to stop, back up, walk forward. I'm just giving you guys some things that you can practice with your horses. In the Hackamore, I want to be able to walk, trot, canter on a loose rein. I'd like to be able to half pass my horses, okay, and then stay soft. I'd like to be able to walk, trot, canter on a loose rein. Like I said, walk, trot, canter on a contact. I'd like to be able to half pass. I'd like to be able to, let's see, do, our, do a little half pass this way. Needs a little work, that's okay. Like I said, I just got on her, so we're not really warmed up. I can feel that she needs a little bit, she's a little heavy on this id side front right shoulder. I might tip her nose that way, and I might ask her to back up in a circle this direction to help try to loosen up that shoulder. I can open that inside rein and ask her to come through. We'd like to be able to ask our horse to stay straight and see if I, she's not staying super straight. There we go. And play with the haunches while we still maintain our forward <laughs> as best we can, okay? Um, so those are some very basic exercises that I like to be able to do with my horses in the Hackamore under saddle. Walk, trot, canter, loose rein, walk, trot, canter on a contact, moving, backing up and moving forward into that softness. A start of a turnaround or a spin, if you will, turn on the haunches, turn on the forehand, half pass, side pass, haunches in, shoulder in, all of those things are something that I would, I can achieve and I would keep striving for to do in the Hackamore.